Are you panting? Ale and I are having a very rough day. On this rough day, I'm trying to make sure he doesn't swim. <laughs> what you doing, sweetie? Where are you going? Hey, Ale Burije. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Perilous Bond. Today, I look like I'm spoiled. That's probably partly true, but it's my daughter's summer vacation. It's one of her last summers before she's off doing her own thing. So I'm enjoying my daughter. Ale and I are enjoying the pool because it's hot. If you have a parrot and you like having a blissful bond, you're in the right place. I have 23 species of parrots. I love parrots. If you are already subscribed, hopefully you already hit the bell and set your preferences so that YouTube lets you know when the next video is published, often the very next day, or you've considered becoming a member, which they've made tricky. In order to become a member, you have to, on Max, get on to Safari. And if you have a phone, you have to change your phone, switch it to a computer mode. It's ridiculous. Uh, when you do, it'll be next to my logo where it normally would say subscribe, like right there is where it'll say join, and then you can become a member and get extra stuff, uh, an extra video per week, extra posts, a private forum on Discord for members. It's all good. So let's just hang out today. So Ale is, I believe, species number 22. Not that I've really numbered them. It's just, he was a Christmas present because I heard, my mentor said that Piona's parrots are phenomenal. Um, and I gotta say, Ale is phenomenal. On the one hand, um, he's kind of quiet. Pionuses are very soft-spoken personalities. And what I mean by that is he's very happy, often hanging out and not seeming to do much. For example, the green cheek conyers, they're really busy. They're really boop, 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 boop. They're like busy bees, where Ale is more of a mellow little boy. He has a cage mate who is Indy. Indy is a parrotlet, and Indy has a really interesting story because, are you gonna go up on the rock? You wanna go up there? You can go up there if you want. Uh, Indy, when he was like, not, maybe just weaned, he got sick, and he was sick for like four to six months. It was crazy. We tried, uh, all you know, everything, and it was just, it was crazy, and I all but gave up and um, I don't even know what did it, and Indy survived, all of a sudden he got better. Um, and so he's kind of a one of a kind kind of bird, and um, he doesn't quite connect with the other parrotlets, and so being with Ale is like perfect. Now, you'll notice that on our lovely vacation day by the pool, Ale is eating a spider plant, there's a scientific name for the plant, which I wouldn't know, and I think there's another common household name for the plant. I, I don't know what it is, but this is a non-toxic plant. As I understand it, when my parrots do what Ale is doing, I've never had them have problems. Um, you know, always make sure before you get a spider plant and be like, Ale could eat it, my parrot could please make sure that, uh, you know, that your parrot can make sure you really are getting the right plant. and make sure it's not toxic because I wouldn't want for your, that would that would end that, that blissful bond. And it's all about the blissful bond. So right now, Ale is so happy because he's like, <laughs> he's like, we're having a party, man. <laughs> Natural enrichment, he's on a rock, he's still hobbling. Oh, look at that. You can use that foot. The vet stitched up his foot, took an x-ray, it's all good. So why he's not using it at this point is probably just habitual. But he's having a, a nice casual day by the pool. Up in the palm is Milo, my Indian ringneck. And we're just hanging out, 
enjoying a little R&R &R and enjoying some time with my beautiful, wonderful uh, parrot whispering daughter. With that, I'm gonna give you an over and out. If you have any questions about parrots, please be sure to comment below. Please like, and if you haven't already subscribed, do so. It helps my juice, and I love hearing about your experiences. Someone mentioned that their Indian ringneck, uh, or sorry, not Indian ringneck, green cheek conure, um, she was curious about what, what age they mature at. Don't forget there are 50, when I counted in my Citiculture book uh, by Tony Silva, 50 species of conures. If I miscounted or if there's more, there you go. So there's a lot of conures. And so when people say that they mature at one to three years, it probably depends on the species of conure. Green cheek conures are mature by a year or about that, but a year before three years. And if your green cheek conure is biting, is screaming, um, we'll ask Shalha what she thinks about the screaming, but the biting, just because they become mature, while they're juveniles, the parents will still feed them. And so they'll bite because they're asking for food sometimes. Sometimes they're sort of learning the power and control, learning like their own power. And sometimes they are playing, they're learning their own strength. And so, um, they tend to outgrow the biting. You kind of just have to be patient, buy a lot of band-aids if you need them. And why would they be screaming? Oh, just to get attention, huh? And I think they're screaming just to get attention. It's hard to only have one. That's why Ale, even though I have not found a female Pionis, I don't know if I will. Um, I don't know how hard I am or I'm not gonna try, but um, I have tried and kind of gotten discouraged. But uh, with a green cheek conure, you can always get a second one. I highly recommend it. It makes for a happier, healthier green cheek conure who is still gonna wanna be on your shoulder or they both will be. They're both gonna wanna hang out with you. They are fabulous parrots. With that, thank you. Join us in the next feathered video and we'll catch you on tomorrow's feathered rays.